classify that as leaving the yard that was out near the batter's eye that's well over 400 feet official measurement 412 feet that's all Fence. oh a judgy and blast and here comes the judge his set chest high and deals swung on and hit in the air to deep center that ball is high it is far it is gone Dead center field again. And he is judge and jury tonight. It's a two run blast. Judge picking on center field tonight. Another no doubter. Man, you could tell by the sound that that was not coming back. Two at bats, two home runs, and three RBIs. Correa high and deep to left field. Four, get about it. That's it, the Astros bullpen, it's over the Astros bullpen. A monster shot by Carlos Correa, hitting one to the statues here at Camden Yards. His 16th home run of the year, and the Astros lead it 9-1. to one. Oh my, Correa, he may have the only plaque out there. That's 474 feet. Matches the longest one of the season. Left center field, it is high. Move as far, it is gone. That man Sanchez has done it again. He has some power, boy. Great swing and son. And the 1 0 pitch, a blast to left field and deep. Back it goes, deep it goes, and gone. Jonathan Sculpt to the upper deck here at Target Field. The third level of the U.S. Bank home run porch, and the Twins take a 2 0 lead. You don't see too many go up there. And Scope just did. A cold night obliterating that bas that uh, baseball. Wow. That is blasted. Deep left field. And Jorge Soler goes into the third deck. Even the guy who ended up with the souvenir can't believe the ball was hit that far and on a line. Huh? Wow. I mean, it <laughs> so there, I had a feeling, you know, he was going to get hot on this road trip. It started out yesterday with three hits, and now, you know, back to back changeups. That did not work, I guess. The first pitch did. This one here, uh, right center, 85. That ball left in a heartbeat. And if there wasn't a fan up there, probably would have ripped that row of seats out. That ball was crushed. Swing and a fly ball wallop straight away center. It's up high. It is gone. Power versus power, and Acuna comes through. He's in the leadoff spot, and here we go. A solo homer, and Atlanta's in front. 97 hit about 400 out uh -oh. to center field. Wow. Uh oh. That was loud and it uh -oh. is gone. Oh. Oh. To Ashburn Allen. Yes, sir. Over the second wall. It went over Bernie's head in center field. What a shot. That could be one of the longest home runs here at Citizens Bank Park. Wow. And the Phillies take a 1 0 lead. Wow. 466 is the estimated distance. Wow. Can we get a replay? Woo. Not here. I want the big screen. I want the. Whoa, here we go. Look at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just can't wait for it to come down. It never did. Yeah. Oh Usually goodness. when a center fielder takes a step or two and starts 
planning on where I want to watch this ball go. That sent a lot. But did you notice how relaxed it like he wasn't tense it's like he just literally walked into that ball. A drive to left and there goes another one on an 0 2 pitch into the third deck. My goodness is Nelson Cruz on fire. Looked like another changeup, and this time Cruz pulled it. Four home runs. Duffy has retired only five batters. Let's take a look at this pitch. Yeah, breaking ball. Wow. And Duffy knew it. I was watching Alex Gordon out in left field. He did not move. Well, for that matter. And that is launched out to deep left field. Big fly for Mike Trout. One nothing Halos. <laughs> 250th career home run for Mike Trout. Talked about him in the opening, getting locked in. Well, he's locked in. Watch out if you're a pitcher. That baseball projected home run distance, 473 feet for Trout. He homered against Eunice back in Kansas City last year in that snow globe game that looked like it was going to go that far. This baseball covered by Trout. Fastball middle up, middle way out for Trout. Wow. Well, if you're going to give up a home run, you know what? Might as well. <laughs> Get worth your yeah. while. That's almost one way as a pitcher. You have to go back and admire how you created some of that power. Rios hammers the ball right center field forget about it. Wow that is way gone for Edwin Rios and the Dodgers retake the lead on the fourth solo shot tonight. This ball is crushed breaking ball Rios supplies all the power full extension. And what looks like maximum distance. A lot of smiles in that dugout. A one to Alfaro in the air, left center field. This one is long gone. A two run homer for Jorge Alfaro. And the Marlins get on the board in the seventh. The big guy getting it done. How about it? My goodness, did he unload. Oh. Replay the 16th of the year. It's a slider that doesn't slide very much. Instead of up, he gets it down, and Yuan hits it out. <laughs> 16 and 47 on the power number. Swing and a drive. This one's going to go, folks. How about a grand slam home run for Vladdy Guerrero Jr.? Two out of Bregman is crushed to left field. Back that ball goes, and that ball is gone. And the Astros break on top, two nothing here in the first, on the 28th home run for Alex Bregman. Well, it's all about hitting spots. And boy, Aaron Brooks started off so good to Springer and Altuve. He makes a mistake to Michael Brantley, gets hit for a base hit, and he works count 2-0. Fastball. Came. Center field, Wilkerson on the run, and a diving try, and it's past him and goes to the wall. Brantley's going to circle third. He'll come to score, and Bregman on at second base with an RBI double. It is a four-run inning and a seven-to-one lead for the Astros. Well, we show one and two again. Right field. Jay going back and Jay's not going to get there. It's off the wall. The Astros have taken the lead. Alex Bregman drives in. For